Within the Department of Biomedical Engineering at Texas A&M University, something special is happening. It's called the Senior Design Experience, a program that brings the real world into the classroom and turns student-led ideas into innovative healthcare solutions. The senior design courses that we design are really intended to recreate or mimic the real life experience of an engineer in the medical device industry as closely as we could in academia in this setting. So they're, they're learning to take an idea uh, of a, a need that needs to be solved with a medical device through uh, developing different solutions to that problem, prototyping and testing all the way to, to the end. Our students have been working on projects for medical device companies such as Onyx Life Technologies and Integra Life Sciences, National Instruments and the Texas Heart Institute and even in a, a company based in California called Profusa. And they've been working on projects for orthopedic devices, for uh, cardiovascular devices to assist surgeons in performing heart surgery and correct placement of uh, heart valves. They've been working on personal monitoring tools to help people that wear orthopedic braces maintain compliance with physician's orders. A wide variety of projects. Throughout two semesters, a student team of senior biomedical engineers designs a medical device or system based on a sponsor's specifications. In addition, their product must meet important design control criteria and FDA requirements. It's a complex project that forces students to draw on everything they've learned as undergraduates. Our uh, curriculum currently before senior design, we take a lot of theoretical courses. You learn a lot about mechanics, electronics, biomaterials, but you don't really have a chance to apply them until senior design. And when talented students apply their knowledge and ingenuity to real world health issues, powerful solutions take form. At this point, our device is housed in this black box, right? And the, the pressure and temperature sensors kind of protrude. The way we intended is that we kind of sling it around their body at, the, at this point and they put the pressure sensors inside the, the brace. But beyond that, the way it works is it collects these data points, these, these temperature and pressure data points, transmits it via Bluetooth to a, a phone, where in the phone we've actually written a mobile application using Android Studio to grab this, this packet of information and then with an algorithm that we also wrote actually process this information and then determine whether the, the patient is wearing their brace or not, determine compliance. The biggest joy has definitely been the end result. Coming from the initial brainstorming phases through the entire design process to actually have a physical product that you can hold in your hand has been really rewarding and something that I haven't experienced in any of my other engineering classes. For the students, it's the final step in their biomedical engineering education at Texas A&M. And for the sponsors, it's a first-hand opportunity to see future Aggie engineers in action. In my opinion, there are two main benefits to the project. Uh, first of all, we get a fresh set of eyes to come in and evaluate some things that we hadn't considered, and the amount of ideas and the, and the diversity of the ideas is just incredible. Uh, second, we get the opportunity to evaluate the students, sort of like a year-long audition, and hopefully make some hires out of that group. Our interest in having this as an as an incubator of ideas. Um, there's always that possibility that someone hits on just uh, the ideal way to solve, essentially to solve a problem and to bring something forward. So it's it's an exciting interaction that that, that we have available with us, uh, with the interaction with with A and M. If you're in industry and you're considering sponsoring a project at A and M, uh, think about what it can do for you, and that's to a large extent is giving you an opportunity to try that project that's been on the back burner that you can't get to, that you want to get a look at, concept, feasibility, prototypes. That you can get done and get some excellent feedback and evaluate whether you've got a project that you can go forward with.